Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you my first official make of 2017, the Sew House 7 Toaster Sweater Number no. 2, which is also the first project of the Sew My Style patterns. So My Style is an endeavor by Alex from Bluebird Fabrics, who describes it as a year-long sewing project which aims to raise awareness for the slow fashion movement and also encourage young people to get back into sewing. We will be sewing 12 garments in 2017, one each month, and sharing the project on the last Sunday of every month. It's such a fun way to grow a little capsule wardrobe with so many others from the sewing community. This is my second toaster sweater number two, and for this cable knit version, I knew I wanted to make some slight alterations. I shortened the sleeves by half an inch and lengthened the front and back bodices by two inches. I think for my next version, I will continue lengthening the bodices possibly as much as another two inches. I just love how the neckline sits with this heavier weight knit, which brings me to the fabric choice. The fabric is a super cozy cable knit from Cali Fabrics. The wrong side of the fabric is backed with a cotton mesh, making it super stable. It only has 10% stretch though, and the pattern calls for at least 20% stretch. So if your muslin fits a little snug, you might want to go up a size. The stretch is really only important from about the high bust and up since the sweater is meant to fit oversized through the waist and hip. I took on a resolution with this project and decided to bias bind the neckline and hems with quilting weight cotton instead of using my serger. I'm in love with the results of that effort. Also, it's hard to tell the front from the back once the toaster sweater is sewn up, so I decided to go the extra, extra mile and sew in my garment and laundry tags. I have to keep remembering to do this as the finished look is so polished and professional looking. So there you have it. That's my latest make, the Sew House 7 Toaster Sweater Number no. 2 in a heavyweight cable knit. It was only 45 degrees when I shot this and my southern blood cannot handle this kind of cold, so I don't have a ton of footage of me modeling it, but I really wanted to show you how my sweater turned out anyways, so sorry for the shivers. Also, look how big my pants have gotten. I'm finally getting off the weight that I gained while I was sick. Yay! Oh, and before I forget, there is a ton of information in the description box of every single video I do, including this one. So if you have questions, like where I get my labels, I know you're wondering that, they're most likely already answered there. Just click the show more button if you're watching on a computer or the teeny tiny little arrow on the bottom right of the video viewer to reveal it if you're watching on a mobile device like your phone or a tablet. If you have other questions that aren't answered in the description box, just leave them in the comments. I read every one and reply to most of them. So until next time, bye.